Hi, today we're gonna go and connect our Tableau with different data sources. Let's go. Welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Bara Zalkini and I am IT architect. So before you start building your visualizations, dashboards, analyses, first you need to connect your Tableau with your data and to configure those data sources. So with Tableau, you have many different types of data connectors, like connecting to your local text files, spreadsheets, databases, big data, APIs, clouds, and many other stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect to your data in very easy steps. All right, guys. So in this tutorial, we're gonna go and connect our Tableau public or desktop to different types of data. So we're gonna go through the following stuff. We're gonna connect to text file, then we're gonna go and connect to Excel file, JSON, CSV, and PDF. And at the ends, we're gonna go and connect to one database, MySQL. So here, just for your info, if you are using Tableau Public, you can connect only to the following stuff here, and you can connect only to files. So now, if you want to go and connect to database, you should have Tableau Desktop. All right, guys, so for this tutorial, I've prepared some examples in order to connect to different types of data. I have it here at my desktop, so I'm gonna go inside. And here we have different types of files, like text file, Excel file, CSV, JSON, PDF, and database. Those information, you can find it at my GitHub. I'm gonna leave the link at description. So now let's go and connect to text file. And I have under the text here, one file called customers. So now let's go and start Tableau. It doesn't matter if you have Tableau public or desktop. So I'm gonna start now Tableau desktop. All right, so now we are at the starting page of Tableau. And on the left side, you will find here the section where you can connect to your data. With Tableau desktop, you have more than 80 different like types of connectors. So if you can go here, you will find like a lot of stuff. With public, you can connect only to those files here. So what do we need now is that we're gonna connect to a text file. So we need this one here called text file. So click on it. And I'm gonna connect to the customers. So let's click open. And now I am at the data source page and we are now actually connected to our file. So if it's your first time connecting to data source, you might find it a little bit confusing with all those options left and right. So don't worry about it because I'm gonna explain all of those stuff step by step in my tutorials. So now we are connected to the customers file here and we can see already here the data. So if you want to see more details or more options about the connector, you can click over here and then go to text file properties. Now you'll find here some details. I'm gonna like advise you to stay with the default stuff, but if you change the data at your text file, so for example, if I go and open my customer files and you see here the separator is semicolon. If I go and change it to comma, then you have to change that as well at Tableau data source and to change it as well as to comma. So I'm gonna leave it now with a semicolon. So that was actually it. Now we are connected and ready to use a text file. So let's go to the next one. So let's go now and connect to Excel file. In order to do that, you have two options. Either you go back to the starting page of Tableau and you can do that by going to the top left. You see here Tableau icon, click on it. And then you can click on Microsoft Excel. Or if we go back, you can go to the menu over here, select data, then select a new data source. And now we have here exactly the same connectors at the starting page. So what do we need is Microsoft Excel. So we're gonna click on it and then open our file. So now we are connected to the Excel, but it doesn't show us any data because at this file, I have two tabs. So let me show you guys quick. So at tab one or data one, I have those information and at this tab, I have other information. So here at Tableau, we need to select one of them. I'm gonna take and drag data one. 
So drag and drop at the middle. And now we are connected to it and you see already the data. So that's it, how you can connect to Excel file. So uh, this example, I have opened two data sources. You can like switch between them. If you go over here and you see the customers, those data comes from the text file and data one comes from Excel. So let's rename them. I'm gonna call this one Excel file and Let's go back to the customers. I'm gonna call it text file. So now we have like open two connections to do different types of data. So let's connect now to the next one CSV file and you can do that by clicking at new data source and then go to text file. And here underneath the CSV, I have like some different types of files. I'm gonna select location open it. So now we are connected to the CSV. You see here at the left side, you will find all the files inside this folder. So if you don't want location, let's say I want the orders, I can remove this one by drag and drop and then select orders. So now I'm connecting to the CSV of orders and here you have the same stuff like the text file. You can go to the options over here, text file properties, and you can change those information. So now we are connected as well to the CSV file. And you see here the three types of data sources. So let's keep connecting our examples. I'm gonna go over here again, click new data source. And now we're going to connect to JSON file. So I'm going to select that JSON file. I'm going to open my file. And now before we are connected to JSON file, Tableau is going to go and detect the schema of my file and show me the example of that. So here I can see the metadata of my schema and an example values of that. So if you check that and everything is fine, I'm going to click here. Okay. And you see here, Two schema level are selected. Everything is good. Let's click OK. And now I can see the data over here. So if you go and change some information in the JSON file and you want to see the schema again, you can go over here and then click select schema level and you can check those informations again. So that was about selecting and connecting to JSON file. So now let's go and close this one over here give our data source a name json file so now we are connected to those different types of files the last file that we're going to connect is bdf file so let's go and click new data source then we go to bdf file open our file so now it's going to scan the files and ask us do you want to open all pages or like specific page or like a range of pages because in my example, I have only one page, so I'm going to select all and click OK. So now I'm connected to my PDF. It's like one table. If I show you guys the PDF file, it looks like this one over here. And if you go now and do some changes in the PDF file and you want to see it in Tableau, you need to do rescan. You can do that by going to the data source and you go over here, click. And you see here, rescan PDF file. So if you go do that, it's going to scan the file again and do the changes. So I'm going to select again. Okay. Then you will see the changes over here. So let's give this one, this name, PDF file. And now we are connected to all different types of like files. In the last example, we're going to go and connect to database. Sadly, if you are using Tableau public, you cannot do that because with public, you can connect only to files like here in the examples. So in order to connect to databases, you need to have Tableau desktop. So in this example, we're going to go and connect to one of them. I have at my computer, one local database called MySQL. So I'm going to go to the starting page of Tableau. And I can find it over here, MySQL, or you can find it if you click on more. And here you will find all different types of databases and connecting to them requires the same information always. So let's go and connect to MySQL. 
And here you need to enter the server name, the port name, and as optional, you need to enter the database name, then user and password, and then connect to it, sign in. So now I am connected to my local database. And on the left side, I will find all my tables and views and stored procedures. So in order to see one of them over here, you need to drag and drop. So I'm gonna take this one, drag and drop in the middle. So Tableau gonna load the schema of this table over here, it's two columns. So in order to see now the data of it, you need to click here, update now. If you're gonna do that, it's gonna go to the database and load the data. So you see it here, it loaded. So now we are connected to the database as well. And I'm gonna give this one a database name. So now we are connected to all those different types of files and to the database. All right, guys, so that was a quick tutorial how you can connect your Tableau with different data sources. If you were successful connecting to your data, give this video a like. And if you want to learn more about Tableau or working with data, click on subscribe so you don't miss any content. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.